We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. The name above all names, the name that we call unto when we are in trouble and He saves us. He is a good God, He is a gracious God, He is a merciful God, and He loves you. He knows you better than you know yourself, and He knows what is best for you, and has got your best interests at heart. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you on this precious day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is a brand new day. It's a brand new week. And as you know, on Monday, I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you that the Lord has given me, and I trust and I believe. Even as you listen, God will bless you. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Right now, in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching and in your week. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, take over control. Lead us closer to Jesus. Teach us. Comfort us. We welcome you in the studio where we are recording and in the place where my dear friend is watching. And in our week, lead us in the way that we must go. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that he gave me to share. In the birthing of your calling and at the growth phases, it's inevitable to face some discomfort. But don't be discouraged because God is not done with you. He is increasing your capacity to handle the level that he is taking you to. The work that God started in you he will be faithful to complete it. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I'll say that once again. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The best is yet to come. Just lean and rest in God. The battle belongs to the Lord. As I received this word, the Lord led me to three scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one is from the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. It says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it out to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So the good work that God started in your life will be carried on to completion. God doesn't leave things halfway. He doesn't leave things half done. When God starts in a process, He sees it through. Our hope is in Jesus. He is the hope of our salvation. He is our hope. Our hope and our trust is in Him. And He does miracles, signs and wonders. He is the Deliverer. He is our Savior. He is the one who heals. He is the one who brings divine intervention. All the gifts that we receive come from Him, both spiritual and physical. It says, being confident of this, that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. The next scripture that the Lord led me to is from the book of Psalms, chapter 34, from verse 18. It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There are certain challenges and certain trials that can leave us in a place where our heart is broken or we feel broken and we feel crushed. But don't be discouraged. Sometimes the process can be uncomfortable. If we look at a mother giving birth to a child, there's a short period of time that she goes through discomfort and she gives birth to that baby. Nine months of carrying the baby and finally the discomfort peaks at the time she's giving birth. But once she gives birth, there is much joy. And in the midst of that discomfort, for the nine months leading up to the birth, a special bond is built between the mother and the baby. 
And once the mother gives birth, for the rest of her life, she has a baby that she loves, that she cares for with all of her heart. So in whatever situation you might be going through, be encouraged and understand and know that this too shall pass. God is with you and God shall see you through. The last but not the least scripture I want to read to you is from the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 to verse 19. It says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Now let's read this slowly and just understand what it is saying. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. As I said earlier, when a mother goes through the process of conceiving, from the day that that child starts to be conceived in a womb, all the way leading up to the nine months and giving birth, she experiences some discomfort. Some days are good days, some days are really uncomfortable. But as she pushes through, the suffering that she went through for that period doesn't compare to the joy that she experiences when she meets her newborn baby. In the same way, with purpose, with destiny, with the things that we are trusting God for, this scripture can be applied. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Hallelujah. God is with you. God is not done with you. It is not the end. The best is yet to come. Believe in God. Believe also in Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to praise God for a few moments. And as we discern His presence, then we'll go into a time when we begin to trust God. And God will do what only He can do. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise You and we thank You. We thank You for Your goodness. We thank You for Your mercy towards our lives. We thank You that You don't leave us helpless. You don't leave us alone. You speak to us. You guide us. You show us the way. You say, this is the way, walk in it. And you show us the way that leads to life. And we are grateful and we are thankful for your goodness and your mercy towards our lives. We thank you that our lives are in your hands. And therefore, we can be rest assured that everything will be all right. Everything will be okay. Because you will see us through. You have us right where you need us to be. Right at the correct time. Kairos time. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now I'm going to begin to pray for you. Let us begin to trust God in faith. As we begin, I want to encourage you, comment and agree. Connect in faith, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. In the midst of all the discomfort my dear friend might be facing in this time period, release the comforting power of your Holy Spirit and strengthen my dear friend to push on through and not to give up. As my dear friend presses on and that destiny is birthed, bring much joy in my dear friend's life. Supply all my dear friend's needs and increase my dear friend's capacity to handle the level that you're taking my dear friend to. I pray, Father, the work that you started in my dear friend's life, my dear friend who is tuned in, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, complete that work, bring it to completion and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level for your glory. For the glory of King Jesus, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. 
My dear friend, in this week, understand and know God loves you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Rest in Him. No matter how much discomfort you might be facing, rest in Him. And I am confident that He will give you peace. He will give you rest. He will give you joy. There is one person we can call on to when we are in trouble, and that is Jesus. And He will never let us down. When we call on to Him, sometimes we feel as though maybe He hasn't heard. And that's not because He hasn't heard. He has heard our prayer. But sometimes we are in such a situation that we cannot discern God has heard our prayer. But be rest assured because we walk by faith and not by sight. Now may the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.